First, we want to look at the significator, the underlying factor. Here, we've got the Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning. I have to wonder if this is a revival of an ongoing relationship because we also have representing you someone who is dealing with an inner struggle and what covers you is the high priestess so i have to wonder are you trying to start over with an actual individual who is finely tuned in to their own sense of wisdom or does this mean Sagittarius you're having an inner struggle tuning into your own intuition about this resurgence of love but there's an emotional struggle somewhere in the mix for you guys at this time but it's around what feels like this fresh new start maybe with someone who's just very tuned in to their own sense of knowing and maybe you just don't have that or maybe it's vice versa maybe you're the one Sagittarius who's finally tapped in and the other person just doesn't even have a clue as to what it is that they want or need. They almost feel rather blind to me in the situation. Now, let's take a look first <clears throat> at the foundation, the judgment card. The judgment card, choices, decisions. These are spiritually guided choices. It's Tuning in and tuning out and finding out exactly what it is that your spiritual nature wants you to do. There's healing. There's resurrection. There's the opening wide of opportunity, but there's wisdom there that comes from a deeper place. So what are the choices you have to make here? Are you are you focused on healing the situation? Come hell or high water? Are you focused, that focused down to the spiritual fiber? on healing the situation around this situation where there's a struggle within someone around that new beginning. Okay, I'm not sure what we're dealing with here yet, but in the past, the Four of Cups, an opportunity coming forth, an offer maybe from someone in the situation Maybe I will stay with you if you change something about your behavior and you looking the other way or them. Maybe this is you giving someone an ultimatum. I love you and I will be with you, but we can no longer move forward if there's something you do not change. The opportunity was given in the past but I think that opportunity was just blatantly ignored uh, the present the present being confused maybe this person didn't see their part in the destruction of this relationship because they certainly did have a party to whatever was that brought us to this. Now, something, maybe this is the opportunity that's being offered now. 
Maybe an offer was put on the table. Well, whoever it was over the past, I'd say, week or two, whoever made you an offer and said, let's have dinner. That meant let's talk it out. Let's get together. Let's figure out where we went wrong. But what you did was by avoiding this opportunity, the Seven of Cups, by confusing it, by maybe not taking into consideration that that person's offer was absolutely from a sincere place. And maybe again, like the past, someone ignored the opportunity to make this thing right. And it's going to leave you in a place of heartbroken sadness. Because someone didn't act on the opportunity when it was presented to them. One person in the situation definitely came from a sincere place, making the offer, opening up the opportunity, maybe to open up the conversation, to make this situation right. And again, that invitation was ignored. And now you're wondering why you're hurt or they're hurt, or maybe they're wondering why they're hurt. <clears throat> Very interesting messages I'm getting for you guys. All right. So, now we've got, oh, card that represents you. The Nine of Wands. You're on your knees. You're giving up the fight, maybe. Maybe you've had enough. Um, taking a time out before you move forward again. Definitely wanting to leave some things behind. There are a lot of emotional struggles that I really think Sagittarius has been going through especially recently, especially if you've been left, you're still kind of picking up the pieces of that, maybe the death of that dream, but maybe you did not, or this other person did not see their part in the destruction of the dream when their hands are all over the destruction of that dream. Now, if you guys don't know it, I get a lot of outside messages. So don't shoot me if I don't go by the card. Okay, let's move on. Let's look at your environment. Well, in your environment, you may be looking at a new environment. Maybe you just moved homes. Maybe that's part of what this was about. Maybe you actually moved. I can actually get that message from the next card, too. And the next card. So I think that many of you have probably decided to move or move on emotionally from a situation that you've been pretty intense about or had some pretty intense emotions around the situation that maybe you're feeling you're just ready to give up on. Just kind of ready to call it a day on this thing because maybe you're kind of finished struggling with whatever it was that really is looking like it's going to be the final straw that breaks the back of this relationship, something 
it's going to leave one person really devastated because maybe they didn't take up the opportunity to correct a mistake, to right a wrong, to apologize for doing something, for making uh, the wound, helping the wound to heal. Instead of letting it sit and fester and and destroy. And a special message for whoever this is making me feel this way. You knew what you had to do. Whoever it was in the situation that did wrong, you knew you had an opportunity to make it better. And you didn't do it. And now the situation feels very much that it's almost at the end of the struggle. You're almost at the end of the road with this. In your environment, you feel like you want to start something new. Maybe this is saying you want to bring these two people closer together now. And since you blew your opportunity, someone in this scenario, they are looking for the new chance, for a new chance to resurrect this thing. In the position of the hopes and fears, we do have the chariot. And the chariot says that for someone in this situation, you may be looking to move the situation forward. But sometimes these two energies go in separate directions. So what are you hoping for? Are you hoping to move these two people down the road in the same direction? Or are they going to break apart? Well, I think wherever these two people feel the most love is where the outcome lies. Because we have the Page of Cups. And he delivers... He delivers the news. He delivers the object of love. He delivers the gesture. But what I really want to know is, is the gesture too late? Because sometimes when you miss that very last opportunity to make something right, Sometimes people will walk away and not come back. So maybe you squandered or someone squandered an opportunity to bring a situation back together again. And they really screwed up. They big, big time screwed up when they should have been accepting the offer choosing exactly what it was that they wanted out of life, what they wanted out of life with this person. Maybe they let that person slip away. Now they're hurt. They don't know why they're hurt. You have to look closer to that opportunity that was given to restart this thing. And you also have to look at why you ignored the offer to make all the hurt go away and somebody just looked in the other direction. Clarification on the seven of cups first. Okay. For some of you, <clears throat> the
the person you were dealing with here, they had some underlying issues, keeping them in a constant cycle of refusing to see what harm their actions do. Someone caught up in a cycle of deception where it was just natural to hide things and to lie about things. It was the easy way out. It was the way they spent. It, 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 it's how they used their energy, how they spent up all of their energy was on a deception. They've gone through cycles, probably years of this feeling that whenever things get too real, they completely shut down. They isolate. They hide from the world. They have ways of taking care of themselves that you will never know. Because they just live this cycle. It's what they do over and over and over again. This is a person who really doesn't see the bad in what they do. They honestly, as Michael, Michael is telling me to say something that I don't want to say. I'm not going to say that. Okay, let's move on. I don't like the energy this person is giving me. And I don't like that message either, Michael. Oh, God. All right, the heartbreak. The three of swords. We got the five of cups. The knight of wands. <laughs> <laughs> the, the eight of wands. Okay. So basically, this is telling me that this person had passions. Had a lot of passions. Maybe they had more than their share of other passions. Part of their behavior. But it was also the thing that broke the situation. It's also the thing that caused this. This person had a, a very active physical situation. Or maybe this is you. But whatever it is, it was... The truth was not being revealed. The whole truth. I think this person was almost living a, a different life. I have to think that this other person had a life outside of their home. Sagittarius. This person had maybe other families besides you. Maybe that's why you never saw any of the money. Maybe that's why... They were always gone on the weekends. Now, I'm going to tell you, on the Nine of Wands, this struggle that I've got you ha having is really all financial, which tells me that part of this situation may have been the fact that there was very little sex going on in your situation but they were very well likely if they were being sexual in any way it was an outside activity I don't see any romance and maybe that's where that person went wrong and maybe they know it maybe you were their cover Sagittarius. Or, or maybe they were yours. For a life style that you had going on in other places. 
something with so much privacy. You will never know it. So we've got this broken down energy. This kind of exhausted energy. After maybe all of the screwing, see, I, I, I see all of those wands back there. You know, that's like sexual activity to me. And, and he's kind of exhausted because he's spent. He's done too much. And so when he goes home, he doesn't have time for this. He's already done his share. He's had his bill. What does he want his spouse for? Other than to clean the house and do the cooking and take care of all of the physical stuff. So now the concentration is all on money. It's all on the finances. All of this attention between these two people is changing. The entire situation is no longer on the fact that this person never stays home because they're too busy spreading themselves around the neighborhood. What you've got here is uh, now, okay, go ahead. Do whatever it is that you want to do. I'm patient. I've been with you for 20 years. I'm patient. Let's talk about the money. Let's make it real. Let's talk about the one thing that I know you really love. Let's talk about the money. That is what this discussion sounds like for some of you. Some of you are pretty much just at the end of your rope with someone who is spreading themselves out with everyone in the neighborhood and doesn't seem to have time for his own family. He can go out, hang out with the guys for hours, but when asked to play a game with one of the kids, he doesn't have time. This is someone who, whether or not they're having a lot of sex outside of the home, they're also having a lot of playtime with other people's children. Their children are feeling the love. What are your children feeling? Again, this is all energy that we really need to ask you right now. You are being asked to examine a relationship where someone has, been, has left you out. They left you out of their life. And now you're being asked, do you want to try to heal this relationship? Are you going to move forward with it? Or are you going to choose a new path? Choose a new path. He chooses a new way. He doesn't turn around and go back. He doesn't turn around and go back to situations that he's lost, that he's left. So Sagittarius, this is saying, maybe Spirit is asking you 